any blush on. I don't care. I technically put in my shoes and dog pee. Oh, hi. So, this is. Can you even see it? Yeah, you can. Today I discovered the meaning of life. Let me rewind. I didn't even have an intro! Jeez. Hi, and welcome to my corner of the internet. I'm Julia, and I'll be your guide on today's journey. You might not know me, but I hope that you stick around and get to know me. I'm really excited to hang out with you today, and I hope that you have a good time. So get some water, get some coffee, get some tea, whatever you want. Me personally, this is my mug of the day. It's Atlantic Canada. It's green with a bunch of pictures on it, and my straw is blue. I'm having coffee. Then I also have lemon water. I meant to put ice in it. I did not. But this is a really cool cup. It has a bunch of patches inside of it. Thumbs up today. It's a good day. Today is actually a Monday. Today is Monday, December 4th? Question mark? Yes. Today is mon mon Monday. Sorry. <laughs> Why am I being weird? I'm not. I'm just like, I feel so good today. Okay, the title of this video is The Meaning of Life because today I think I discovered my life's purpose. I think it's to coagulate and concretize all of my thoughts and ideas, especially the creative ones. I'm a journaler, so I have a journal. I have a couple. Insert clip. Hello, here are all my journals. I'm a very creative person. I'm a thinker. I look deeply into things. I have lots of ideas and the creative visions of how things should be and how I want things to look in the sense of art that I'm creating. Like there's like a vision, there's like a goal. And one of those avenues is music or like <laughs> like raps and stuff like that. I love making music, freestyles, raps, like finding beats and just like talking my sh over them. And it's super, super fun. And so recently I swiped up on one of my friends' stories on Instagram because it was talking about song lyrics and like ghostwriting. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I remember you were telling, because he, <sighs> he was telling me about this music program that you can use to like make slash find beats. I forget what I was talking about. So my friend put on his story about like ghostwriting and then I was saying, oh I remember you were telling me about the program of like making beats on there. And so we were messaging a bit and we were chatting. I stand like here and like put it on this blank wall. So I sent him the line that I had written and he really loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, you should see my notes up. Haha, <laughs> like there's so many lyrics in there. But also it's crazy in there. And then he's like, yeah, everything's in one giant vault. But then I'm like, mm, I have a lot more vaults like the whiteboard with the different categories there's the cue cards with the things there's the sticky notes oh my gosh the sticky notes the sticky notes there's also my journal my planner and then there's like the ideas that are just written on random pages in there and i'm like oh i'm gonna go back and da 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 and then i never go back for them and I like to write them down to get the information out or the idea out to offload it. But if I'm doing that, then I'm going to have to go back to it because then it like loses part of the feeling. Anyways, I feel so good in my heart today. <laughs> I think it must be my life's purpose slash journey to coagulate and concretize all of my thoughts and ideas. And I said, whoa, I just did something there. You know, when you feel a certain way, I wish I could explain something to you about the present moment, but I don't know how to. I'm kind of a spiritual person. Part of the reason why I feel things deeply, or I am a spiritual person because I feel things deeply, if that's what that means to, I don't know. What am I trying, oh my gosh. I'm like opening. <laughs> To be spiritual means to look for the meaning in things and to figure out what things mean and how they are connected and interrelated. And I truly believe that everything is connected and I've been told that that's called oneness theory but I haven't really looked into it and that's probably on a sticky note or written in a journal on a cue card somewhere but 
I just got an idea of an art to do and I'm like, should I write it down or should I just do it? I'm gonna write it down anyway, I think it's funny and it goes along with something that I really, my swatches sheet for when I was doing the, um, I, I literally ruined a perfectly good drawing. It was Jenna Ortega. I was using these new markers. So I was testing the colors. I want to make a print because I gave it to my friend. The art idea. So I really like fire hydrants and I always draw fire hydrants. So it's going to be a fire hydrant. Wait. I love it. It's funny because I also do that sometimes, but then I think, don't dogs pee on this? I technically put in my shoes and dog pee. Anyways, that's an idea that I just had to do with art and the style. I want to dive more into acrylics. I feel like that's like everybody's initial beginning art medium, but I switched over to watercolor. Over here is just some of my acrylic painting. That one's a cool one. Um, yeah i don't know how long i've been filming this but i feel like this could be a video in and of itself if i can now coagulate the ideas that i have and, and express and then come to a conclusion slash outro thank you so much for hanging out with me i had a great time with you i hope you had fun on this journey as well I'll see you in the next one